cancelling you. I don't think that new people should be in the FYP because you're not known enough. That's it. End of. <laughs> 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 you're not known enough. You're not known enough for that job, guys. <laughs> can you, can you, Andrew, can you <laughs> ask her to spell FYP? <laughs> I don't need to. Like, what is this about? Are you okay in your head? Yeah, no need for rightness. You're oh. 41 and you can come on here crying. He sounds like you're crying. He's left. Kind of girl. He sounds like you're crying. Guys, I, guys, I don't want everyone attacking one person. It's not okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. No one's saying you're going to attack the one person. I'm not having it. I'm not having it. You're jealous. They're all saying Gemma's beautiful and you're jealous. That's what they're saying to me. That's what I can see. Jealous. 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 Jealous because you're a bag. Gemma, can I ask you're you a, a question? Someone in the that, comments darling, is sent to ask you about Dixie. What's that? Is it a chicken shop? I don't care. Ask you about That's her platform. Uh, it might be a chicken shop, darling. Um... <laughs> Oh, for God's sake. I'm having a drink, man, because... Hi, is... Brems! Is that Brett in the box? Here? No, it's not Brett. It's uh, mine, oh. Emma's, and Brett's account mixed together. It's called Brems. Oh. Oh, me, that's a... That sounds delightful. Oh, for now. Oh, for now. We've got supporters. Yeah. Big up, Brems. Which in Brett is it? Brett, boy? But no, it's thought... not Brett. It's not Brett, it's Brems. Brems. Yeah, but who, who is Brett? Is that that Brett boy? That most boring yeah. person on oh, TikTok? Brett. Oh, yeah. oh, you know what? They're so, they talk they're about Brett so like that, man. They're so clever, it's so boring. So clever, thank you. To so everyone that says they love me, thank you. It's not Brett. You know what, though? Can I say it's something? It's a fan page. It's a birthday, and it's just so much drama, which I always get all the time, yeah. I speak to Brit and he, he, he kind of is, he's quite therapeutic. <laughs> and Angie, I speak to you all the time and I get you out of drama, so don't say that I don't help you. All the time, I need a drink. There we go, I always help you out, Angie. Yeah, I don't know why you're talking rubbish. I've helped <laughs> you out a lot, Angie, so don't talk <laughs> I've helped you out a lot. I'm you the night, so don't talk rubbish. I don't, care. I don't know why people have an issue with drinking. It's like, it's not me. They have an issue because we're both characters that are weird creators. And get views, and now they've got a few views. I've been talking to for years. But Angie, have a good day, yeah? Um, hey, please, please, song, please. Man. No. Oh, no, I'm not having yeah. that. Come on, that's not on. Uh, Angie, no, someone on. said, can you box yeah. Queen? Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, have a good we, day. See you later, Brad. Love you. Bye. Bye. Add my account. Bye, Angie. Bye. See you later, guys. Bye. Period. <laughs> she doesn't know how to spell her own name, guys. But does it matter whether people can't spell their own name? Let's get into a debate. Oh, you, mute the lady. Angie, mute the lady, please, so I can talk. Does it matter whether people can spell their own name or not? Because in yeah, this no world, way. I've got through without reading and writing. So what is her point? So you don't, though. So just say and don't. Have a good I'm day. Thinking, Goodbye. You're I'm a hater. You are. I don't mean to. Bye. I don't want to listen to that, man. Um, she's, she came in for everybody. I only so. went into the thingy Bob's live and said I'm not going to be arguing with anybody anymore. Oh, come. I thought you turned over and you leave. And yes. can you box, box Queen? I'm doing it left, right and centre, do you know what I mean? She's, she's all the oh, exactly, she's, she's trying to act like a victim. And people are falling for it. She's just trying to build our account again, man. Exactly, Angie doesn't understand that. She's looking for clout. She goes, Look at the views now. Angie exactly. had some numbers before she came don't in. Me, man. Exactly. Mm. I don't care. I honestly don't. Angie's a changed person, yeah, because I've. I'm I've... a person, guys. I'm a changed person. Michelle, she knows how to spell her own name. Calm down. Do you know how to spell your name? Clogs Queen. Who's that? There's no Queen. Oh, in who's the that box. box Queen? Hey, Angie. Hey. Um, with Queen in the Box. I've got, oh, Dawn, Dawn, I'll put you in next. Box Queen, she's not in the box, guys. Who's Queen? <laughs> Hi, Ange. Queen B, I think it is. Hi, Ange. I've heard I'd just like to say, after everything that's gone on, 
over the past couple of weeks, I think that was absolutely disgusting that you all are all sat there, not you Ange, but you all just sat there ganging up and bullying one person, one girl oh, in the box. Harry, I'm fine. It's I'm not fine. fucking bullying, shut up. It's of course it's bullying. Oh, what I don't want, man. I it's don't want toxic my toxic behaviour. Toxic behaviour towards one person. It's because like she's thick skinned. She like could have gone away and done anything. Do you, like, you know what? I try to mute people and they keep unmuting. I, I, honestly, I don't want my platform to be bullying, yeah? Are, are you I, like that. I like the way you dealt with that, man, and you were like, no, nah, shut it down. I like that. Um, can I just have it on one person? Now, Top Girl, I'm not having an issue with you because it's between Top Girl and um, Gems. That's fine, yeah, but not when everyone jumps in on one person. That's yeah, fine. yeah. Yeah. When it's just one person, it just doesn't look good. But I was, only, I was only talking to her because she was talking to me. It was just Top Girl and Gem, nobody else. One yeah, but you was being personal. You was asking her if she could read and write. But what she difference does that make? The joke. She's been on this app for a long time and she reads the comments out. So people who are saying she can't read, she's playing the victim and you're all um, getting into her uh, what she's her words. You just. I don't look. know whether she can read or write, Top Girl. Well, but you instantly made me think, oh my God, she's illiterate and enumerate. No, Top she's Girl, not. I didn't know that. Anyway, anyway. Whatever. I just wanted to say it didn't look good, and if Angie hadn't been there, that would have been a right shit show. Yeah, good. She has enough to say about everyone else. She talk, she, exactly, she talks on people's kids. She went into Hustle's life talking on her kids. Are you joking? This woman, you give what you get. Do you understand? False grape allegations. Yeah. Reap what you saw. I don't want to know. I don't want to know that. So, so you don't want to know what the wrongs are. Sick again. So you don't, guys, Sarah, guys, so you don't want to know about the wrong of pe what people are doing. But if someone calls them out, it's bullying. Yeah. yeah so exactly. a woman can no, ganging up on one hang person on, Sarah, in a lab. Sarah, hang on. I'm yeah. I'm saying. So give I'm me the chance to say it. It's all right saying everybody. If you, if I went into a live where no one liked me, they're all going to say nasty things to me and not talk to me very nicely because they don't like me. Ninety percent of these that's people true. in here think she's a knob. So she came in knowing that, and she came in with an attitude. So that's why she got the same attitude back. Treat as you like to be treated. She came in gobbing off, and she got it straight back. I'm just going to kick people out. She didn't come in gobbing off. She came in to stop to Angie. I'm going to kick people out. I'm going to continue. Stop. I'm going to I'm away. Doing it again, and people just pissing me off right now. Yeah, I've told you I'm a trained fucking woman, and you're disrespecting me. I'm trying to because. Because you're talking over everybody and you're disrespecting me, my platform. Yeah, I don't want my platform to be about bullying, yeah? Yeah, we can have a drama, one-on-one, -on -one, I get that. But when it's five-on-one person, I told people, I kept muting you and you unmute. That's disrespecting me when you unmute yeah, yourself. That is fair enough, and I apologise to Andy only. Yourself, I'm going to kick out the box. Only to Andy, I apologise. No, it's not I'm you, just the box. Girl. It's not you, Top Girl, because it was between Top Girl and Jim Zeno. It's other people jumping in on that. Yeah. I, yeah. I respect you, Ange, for that. You did, a... you did mention that, Angie, and I have respect for that. Yeah, and then, you know, Top Girl's allowed her opinions at the end of the day. She is, the same as I'm allowed man, and we spoke amicably. amicably. I've got no... I just yeah, didn't like it, and you didn't yeah, like it, and I just feel... I've got to think of platforms, you know, I have seven people attacking me, and it's like, because they've got some... They're doing some exposure on me, and yet they're all, like, coming for one person, yeah. you know? Yeah. That's, I want my platform to be about that, do you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly, I agree with that. Sarah, you know she did come in and called us all irrelevant people, so obviously we're going to have a comeback for that, do you understand? And nobody is, not one person, um, especially me, I know I've not said I don't want the um, 10 a.m. I've been promoting Angie all morning, so... I also say, guys, last night I was visited by three ghosts, yeah? Past, <laughs> present and future. I saw my future, guys, and I don't want that future. I don't want that for me, yeah? So that's why I have changed. I'm a changed woman. I woke up this morning and I was like... And I was like... <laughs> I have to Hallelujah. My way. Oh, God, Ange, I love you. <laughs> Hallelujah, this is our new Ange. <laughs> and you know what? If I'm big tonight, it's not Gemma's fault. I'm gonna go anyway. I just felt the need that I had to come in and say that I was getting quite triggered by it. But thanks for having me, Ange. I'll see you, see you later. See later. Okay, see you later. Things are gonna be the same tomorrow. Can I just <laughs> say one more thing? Why does everyone use that? Oh, it triggered me. What a load of shit. Everyone always uses the same words of, oh, I'm triggered. If you're that fucking triggered, social media isn't for you. 
I'm sorry, but it's fucking true. Everyone I uses it. Oh, I'm triggered. It. That's a trigger. I hate that That's word. I have a thick skin. Put that in my keyword, trigger, man. If you're triggered, don't watch me. It's simple. <laughs> I, I, I'm not responsible for your mental health or your triggers. Fuck off. What's going to happen if you have a dream about a devil? Hmm? What's going to happen if you dream about devils? Devils? What do you mean? You see, you seen have three ghosts. What about devils? Huh? <laughs> Well, that's kind of come. Thank you, Ava. Are you all right? Hi, everybody. How you doing, Andrew? Hey, right? Yeah, I'm good. You? I'm good. Just popping in, see what's cracking. Sorry, I left you in the um, left you so long, uh, Dawn. That's all right. That's all Hi. Right. Oh, Hi, everybody. Hi, hmm? If Andy has a dream about a devil, she'll have a glass of red wine. I'm, I'm saying today, tomorrow might be a different story. Yeah, <laughs> piss me off, then yeah, you'll see the old Angie. <laughs> So today you choose some peace and that's right. Everyone yeah, to the phone. I don't want it to be a bully platform. I don't want like eight people on one person because I don't like it. So I don't want it here. Do you know what I mean? And I, and you know what? I mute people. They unmute anyone that's going to unmute after when I mute them. I'm going to kick. I didn't I know you could it. unmute. Have you muted them? Mm. Yeah, they can. I never do that. <laughs> I thought of Angie or the mods mute. Yeah, you you could not mute, so I don't ever even try. Mm. I'm gonna go back down, Angie. I just want to say props to you for you know putting your foot down there and not letting shit go south. Hey, Pearl. Pearl. So what happened? Was Gem Zeno in not being nice? Uh, me. What happened? Was Gem Zeno in not being nice? Ah, oh, big up, Pearl. Thank you for the heart. Yeah. Hmm. Yes. Okay. She's just been a normal no, self. By the way, guys, just to let you know, I have no issues with Pearl. I know some people still do. Um, but what's done is done. I don't agree with it. I'm not going to go really into it. You know what I mean? But I'm just, I just want to make peace with people. I still don't like yeah, it. This is an app, yeah. I don't know how people are feeling when they come off this app. You know? No, I still don't like it. And that's your opinion. You don't have to. Yeah. But I am going to talk to who I want to talk to. No, I'm not. Yeah, you're adult. You can talk to whoever you want. Nobody has the right to tell you that. Yeah. Exactly. She's apologised. Listen, I said shit myself just the other day, man. You know what I mean? I did I mean it? No, I didn't. I don't know why. I don't know why. Right, right, right. She apologised and then did it again, and then she said she's not going to apologise for it. Let's get it right. Mm. Yeah, but in her head, she didn't feel she had done anything wrong. Yeah, well, then that's just backwardness, isn't it? Yeah, but, and, you know, it's, I don't want to go, you know, into it again, like, but, you know, I'm not having anyone tell who it's is. It's because her leader's gone and she's she's creeping at everybody else. No, it's not. I actually went into her life. Gemma's Gemma, so... Oh, yeah, Gemma's just... <laughs> education is key. Exactly, and the first time she said it, I went in her live and I said, education is key, leave it off. Stop bullying her and stop harassing her. Education is key. And when she said it the second time and said she's going to keep saying it, that's when I moved away from her. So I have the right to my opinion as well. That. You do not have to be friends with her. You do not have to talk to her. 100%. You know, I just see it that someone that, uh, you know, yes, did say it the second time, maybe did it for reaction, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't believe, even though she said it the second time, there's racial tension behind it. That's just my opinion. And I've gone by what I believe, that I don't think there's any racial intention behind it. And, you know, time has gone, you know. And I know she got a lot of hate. I've got to remember this is an app. How are people feeling off the app? You get what I'm saying? We were talking about no, we that could affect someone. I'm not saying it did with Pearl. It might have, it might not have. I don't know. But we need to think about that. Uh, everyone can have their own opinion and everyone, you know what I mean? Not, not everybody likes me, so it is what it is. Exactly. Yeah, I'm enough. just trying to be polite because this is Angie's platform, so I'm just going to remain silent. Like Remy, you know what I mean? I do. I know. What would you say, Angie? Hmm? Would you say it? Would I say it? Yeah. Oh, well, like I said, I've never used that word before. No, but, but would you say it after being taught that it's some people find it offensive? Would you say it? Mm. On that top girl, though, right? <laughs> no, I, I, I wouldn't. Let, me, let, let <laughs> Angie you, answer first. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't, top girl. Right. But what when you ask that question, what do you mean by would you use that word? Are you saying would you use that word 
in its correct context, or are you saying I would use it at all? Because the word itself isn't not a racial all. word, I would is use it? it in the intent to describe to somebody. somebody. No, yeah. no, you can't. Exactly, and that's the difference. That's the difference. Yeah. What I'm trying. To say. Well, you yeah, remember I said shit the actors not so long ago. It's the, it's the no. people you say it to and the context you say it in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but Top Girl, just recently I said a lot of shit, didn't I? Yeah, but and Angie, uh, oh, what did I say to you when you said that? I never apologize. Do you think Angie has been possessed today? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, next one I've got to come up. Oh, go on. Delusive yeah. put it back in the, uh, box. Oh, in the box. Mhm. Mm yeah, let's not go back into it. You know what I mean? It's been spoken. Lauren, are you dumb? I just said that's Angie's opinion, and she can do what she wants. Are you stupid? Or can, have you got a hearing problem? Yeah. Look, everyone's entitled to their own opinions. Don't have to agree with everyone's opinions. Mm, exactly. That's Angie's opinions. That's what she thinks. Um, we 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 have different opinions. Um, Amy, if there was any racial and uh, you know intentions behind it, you know maybe I'd have a different opinion. But I just I, I'd feel maybe she just did it as a reaction, or because she's so used to calling it kids, it or you know what I mean. So mm. I I, I, I don't think there was, this, the point is I don't think there's any racial yeah. intention behind it. Yeah, and I would respectfully disagree with you on that. I think there was, mm -hmm. um, but again, you're entitled to your opinion as as am I, um, and I think the first time you do it you can maybe get a pass but when um when, when you're when you're educated and you know you have a million people telling you something is offensive to a group of people and you do it again um yeah. then, then it's less forgivable mm -hmm. for me yeah um, but i respect your opinion angie uh, just, the f oh, do you think angie's been possessed today <laughs> <laughs> I, do, I think the first time she said it was was less um than the than the second time mm -hmm. i mean I personally i think they were bad both times but i i understand why yeah, why people i can't take how you feel it. away either really. you know, yeah 100 i'll never understand that because you know that wasn't aimed at me you know, do you get what i'm saying is yeah you get what i'm saying i think it's just sad coming from somebody I'm not from gonna the, belittle how you feel i think yeah, it's yeah no, absolutely hard. And I'm not going to sit here and say you're an idiot for believing that either. Like, it's your opinion. Like, you can... Think, you know, you know, even though it's an FK, yeah, she shouldn't have said it. I just think, you know, there was a bit of a witch hunt to, you know, uh, towards her. No, and I just... I just, I just you no, know, we've got to think about someone's mental health. OK, yeah, she shouldn't have said it. But at the end of the day, you know, you know, a lot of people start hating, not hating on her. We don't know how she's feeling off the app. You, you get what I'm saying? And I don't want to be responsible, responsible for someone f feeling that way. You know what I mean? There's no well, in my you know, mind. she went live several times to say she didn't care and that um, she's going to continue mm. using that word. So yeah, it did help the case. Anger, it? anger when people, yeah. people are attacking Yeah, her. but that, that can also be seen as excuses for bad behaviour, yeah. though, Angie, as well. So, mm. you know. I don't think you can ever excuse it, can you really? If, you, if you've said something bad, you should. You should have, do you know what? I don't know about you, Remy, right? But if, if someone is racist, you can't change them. You can't, you can't change what people are. And if you're racist, I'm pretty sure um, that, that you will probably have more respect for someone that was open and said, yeah, I'm a racist person, than yeah, someone that is racist and denies being racist. Exactly. And it's also, and a generation, and a lot of the older yeah, generations I, I, say I, that I, it's see it, I see it as the same she uses towards her kids and, you know, and stuff like that. So she's so used to saying... Yeah, just can I say something? I, I don't ever get up in the box, but right, Anja, I, I like coming in here quite a lot, yeah. And can you remember how you felt when someone called you Jimmy Savile and that you didn't wash? Right, well, imagine for a black person who can't change their skin colour. So do you understand why people are affected? Look how you kicked off. Look how you were kicking off over being called Jimmy Savile. You can change our appearance. Yeah, yeah. Anja, I'm from Yorkshire. Hi, hi, hi guys. <laughs> yeah, but but no, I mean, you like you, what you were saying, and I did. I, I, I can understand that a lot of white people might not be able to understand. <coughs> excuse me, how a black person would feel being called something like an ape or an orangutan or something. But we actually can't change our colour of our skin. Mm. So I just want you to remember how you felt when people were calling you Jimmy Savile. That's all. Yeah, and you know what? I did speak to her in time. You know, not straight away to Alex after that. You know. Yeah. 
Well, I would just say in that. Yeah, it's big up. Do it for Yorkshire! Now, take it, Chris. All right, I'm going to get off now. Big up, Lancashire. PhD starts kicking it in. Bye, guys. Bye. I think it hits home more to me because my daughter is half Jamaican, and if anyone said that to my daughter, I'd knock them out straight up. Yeah. Listen, like I said, I'll never belittle how you feel, ever. You know, I'll never know. You, you get what I'm saying? Never. But I have seen said things to me and I have you know kind of spoken to them sp spoken to them afterwards the thing is right Remy you might be able to answer this more than anybody else in here or uh, top girl might um if you was at say in my presence at my house and I was talking to my children or my grandkids mm -hmm. and I referred to them in that sense would you feel it was still a racist slur towards it if it was just my grandkids in my house as if you did um obviously being said to a black person well, I don't know what your kids look like. I don't... No, that, that's what I mean. So, like, in the term that, obviously, Pearl once said it, she said, uh, um, she said, like, oh, I call, call my kids, oh, stop, stop it, you little monkeys, or something like that, didn't she? That's what she said, that she uses the words all the time to her little kids. In her own home, because it's not, it's not aimed as a, as a slur to yourself, it is a, a racial slur. If it was aimed directly at you, it would be a racial slur, wouldn't it? Well, yeah, I think orangutan, calling any person of colour an orangutan uh, is a racial slur. slur. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I heard one of Pearl's family members saying that there are mixed race kids in the family. So um, to answer your question, in the context of her using that word around any um, child of colour is offensive. Yes. So, so, no, so I, in, my, in my house, if I, use, if I used it just as a, to, uh, uh, a phrase around the house, and my children are just white, full white, whatever you want to call it, it wouldn't be classed as a racial slur because... Well, no, it wouldn't be a racial slur. And, 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 but what, what I'm saying is, if you came to my house and my children, and you see my children or my grandchildren, and I just said it to my kids because I said it all to you probably wouldn't see that as a racial slur because you just see white kids and think nothing of it. But if, I, if it was then... It's, it's, let's say, for instance, your kids were playing with my kids and I said it, it'd have a different tone. Well, I, I mean, I mean, personally, as a parent, I wouldn't be calling any children orangutan. No, I, I, I call them little shits, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> little shits. <laughs> but, but, um, but, I, I think, I, I think that um, the, the whole idea of well, she uses it in her house, so it's okay for her to use that word. Yeah. For me, it doesn't wash. As grown adults, we know what racial slurs are, and we can do better. And using that word not once but twice is unacceptable to people of colour. And she's done it on multiple occasions. She said she's not sorry. She said she's going to continue using the word. So, for me, I can't even really approach this hypothetical. Well, if it was in no. my house, it was like, like it to me that feels irrelevant sorry like and yeah. i spoke to my daughter's dad who is like full jamaican he was born in jamaica and i and i told him the full context of it and he was like I, it just sounds very uneducated especially when loads of people came in her box and uh, tried to educate her on the subject yet she tried to she used it again in the same context even much worse which is just it's just very uneducated and do you know top girl do you know when you say it's very uneducated I don't know anybody, and I've never come across anybody that wouldn't know that that word would be a racist slur. I'm 40 years old, and for, my, for the 40 years I've been alive, I've always known that if I was to say that to a black person, I would be racially abusing them. Exactly. Mm. And I think so I don't think it comes yeah. down. I don't think, it's, I don't think it comes down to education because you're born knowing that. Mm -hmm. you, you know. Maybe yeah. ignorance. You know it is I mean? ignorance. It is ignorance. Yeah. There's nobody I know that would say that and not say it as a racist slur, they will say it knowing. But that comes back to the thing is that we give her the benefit of the doubt the first time. Mm. Do you understand? And we did try to educate her. And I oh, went yeah. into her box and I said, well, all these threats that she's getting is ridiculous. Stop it. She's an older woman. And I've been brought up with the gypsy community. Like the kids used to call my grandma, grandma. So I had a lot of respect for her whole community. And for somebody like that to come up, come up on a stage like this in front of a thousand people to say something like that, I'm sorry. It just, she, she let her own community down. Do you know what I mean? Yes. And that's what I was saying a minute ago, well, five minutes ago, saying you'd rather someone just be, yes, I'm racist, I say racist. Yeah, just own, that, just own it. Just own it. Because then you know where you stand with that person. You can either choose to accept them still, I'll still be a friend because the majority of the time they're nice, but sometimes they step out of line. 
but I know where they are. And I don't think, I still don't think guilty by association is a thing because, like Angie said, she's, she, she respects Pearl and that garlic bread. Um, she respects Pearl in whatever manner. No one can default it with Angie because she's still friends with her. You're not guilty by association because so many people say, well, if you're friends with that person, that makes you racist. Yeah. No, that's not how it works. Yeah, because if I, personally, if I had racist well, friends... I hadn't spoken to Pearl for a while, you know, and I had oh. my, and I just thought, you know, life's too short, it's an app, and, you know, mm. you just don't know what how people are feeling. And do you give a lot of people's benefit of the doubt and give them chance she after chance after chance? She has had a lot of hate, you know, and rightly so, you know, but I just feel it's just time to move on. Yeah. Mm. And, and I, I know Remy and Top Girl, you can't move on. I totally understand that. Totally get it. And I'm not belittling you how you feel right now. No, Remy and Top Girl. And the top girl could move on if education was taught, which it was, yeah. listened to, and then learned. Then they would Correct. move on because they respect. Correct. They would go back to Pearl and say, "Pearl, we 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 actually applaud you for learning the rights and wrongs, and Correct. we forgive you for what you did because yeah. that's what." people do they forgive for people that do wrong yeah, if yeah. they learn from it you can only make a mistake once the second time it's not a mistake it's like exactly. an apology sorry only counts once but, I would, I I said, what, what do people want though i mean you know and I'm, <laughs> nothing to do with remy because remy i get where you're coming from but what do you think more do people want they want an apology like, so I want to learn from it uh, there's a poet and what? and i've seen a lot of people on this app who have literally have said, oh my God, I've learned this thing and I'm never going to say it again. I was unaware, mm. I was uneducated and I've learned that this is offensive and I will never say it. There's been lots of people who've held their hands up and have said, I've said this before or I thought this before and now I can see why it's wrong and have apologised and have, have learned from it. When you don't learn from something, when people are trying, you've got a million people telling you that this is offensive. If you don't learn from it, then there's not much help for you and mm -hmm. we just have to label you as what you are and, and that's it. So see, I, I think a lot of people learn a, um, a lot of different things. Like I always thought that the word white privilege was quite offensive and i'll give you my explanation why because when i hear white privilege i think to myself where was my privilege i don't feel privileged i grew up with nothing i'd left the home at 16 joined the military i've had a tough life and i've got on with it so i was always like sick of this word white privilege and then one of my friends spoke to me and said ben this is where white privilege means a black woman walking into a clothes shop can't go and buy uh, skin toned colour tights, say for instance, or some makeup that she does whatever it needs to do for a woman. To, and that, that she said, explained is that's part of white privilege. There's so many skin tones of makeup, there's so many skin tones of tights that you can go and get for and clothing and, and natural colours. To and that, and I didn't look at it that way. I looked at it, well, I'm not privileged. I grew up with nothing. I'm, I've sat on the end of my bed with my mum getting evicted from our house because we couldn't afford pay rent so that is what i learned and then i also learned from a guy called um, view from a chair that says you don't see it but then when you get on a bus you're not disabled do you look for a disabled spot and i was like yeah. you know he's fucking hit it nailed on head so the mm -hmm. white privilege that i've always thought of of oh well i'm not fucking white privileged it's not a dig it's actually it's it's hard to explain to be honest because it means so many different things oh, yeah. and i learned that from this conversation yeah and I think that's the biggest misconception is that a lot of um, white people who do get upset by the word white privilege because, you know, they haven't had a privileged upbringing or they don't have a lot of money. And that's not what it means at all. Mm -hmm. It's about the fact that your white skin gives you opportunities and access to things that people with darker skin do not have access to. Everyday small things to large big things and how we are treated differently. And white privilege isn't about how much money you've got in the bank or how rich your parents are that's not what it's about yeah. it's about the fact that your white skin allows you to be treated very differently to how a person with uh, a person of color is treated yeah someone's just put even plasters I, and that's what the other thing yeah. i was taught i mean i don't call it care me plaster to be fair i want the pinkest plaster i can get or the reddest whatever because i just like more, i like color colored plasters and stuff so people if i break my arm i want a pink pot so people know like oh he's got a pink pot <laughs> or a green pot so people know i've hurt myself but that's that's where it comes from but um some someone's right there amanda hate is taught and i've said on my i've said a million times as a young man as a young boy at school 
I didn't understand race. So I was I, I probably was quite racist at school. And I've openly admitted that. But when you become an adult and you learn more and you actually come across more people and have adult conversations and you learn about things, you actually realise that apart from obviously what you like to say about going to the shop. Dusty Claire out the box now. Why? Why? Because what she's what she's about. I don't know. What is she about? Well, she ain't going to be in this conversation. That's not fair. How is it not fair? I don't know what, what she's done. You're she trying to say it? a milky calling a white person a milky bar is what rate what is what, yeah, is, but, what black women go through. How come you're not letting me? How come you're not allowing me to have my opinion? Because Why do I need to? I don't know any of this. Angie, she went into Scotty's live and said no, that I just Angie, talk to other people their own word, um, and I'll do it again yeah. as well. Angie, I've not said nothing like that. Let me explain what happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And please let me have my say because you yeah, know what? Oh my God! You my keep God. shutting me down for no reason. I well, have a say, then I can. Yeah. Not you, Angie. Right? Can I just say one thing? Yeah. Listen, I'm not. I'm not gonna well, go on. Sure. But when somebody says you're the milky bar kid, yeah, you're the white boy, you're the white girl, yeah. But when we say something back. It's, it's hurtful. Isn't it hurtful what we feel like? You can't, you can't put it on us all the time. It's like you're pulling the race card constantly, but you're calling us the milky bar kid. To be honest, I don't, I know where you're coming from with that, but that's not actually a racist slur. A racial, a racial slur to a white person. A racial slur to a white person is being called a cracker or a honky. That is a racial slur to a black person. I wouldn't really say calling it milky bar kids. Really racist. But it's still their way of having a go at us. It's still. I've never used those words ever in my life. I've never called anyone a milky bar kid or. No, not you. Not you, Miss Fleming. I mean, the only thing that annoys me, right, is when you say something to someone and you just happen to say it to a black person, not really thinking. And like the thing I said about the boat, and I keep going on and on about this because there was no racial intention by what I said. Because I said it about myself as well. But my mistake yeah. was saying it to a black person as well. And I think when it's, it's something like that, I, I think you can say, well, okay, maybe just don't say it again because it does look that way. And I get that. Um, but you get what I'm saying? But there's no, unless you've got uh, hundreds of evidence that I was actually being racist because I was, uh, you know, uh, called a racist, you know, quite for a long time over that. But and I can't obviously prove <laughs> that there was no racial intention behind what I said. I just didn't think. Do you, do you get what I'm saying? I think that's very really different to actual slur. What, have you done it again? Well, I think calling somebody orangutan in mm. anger, particularly after you've been yeah. told that mm. it's offensive, and the second time yeah. she said in anger yeah. intentionally, to me there was intent, Angie. And so that's why I have a little bit of an issue with you saying, like, I don't think she meant it intentionally, because I think that everyone saw it, it was intentional. So I understand okay. if you want to give her a pass because of whatever mm. reason, but... I, I do struggle with understanding. You know what it is, Remy? I just feel that, you know, I don't be responsible for some, someone's mental health. And, you know, when I... Uh, you're uh, not responsible, Angie. You're, you're not responsible for what happens. When I suffered, it. you know, she did call me to ask if I'm OK and that. And I just think, well, Thomas... Don't release into another she, subject. She said so. you a card laughing at your downfall. Mm. So let's not forget about that either. Yeah, we'll do, Jade. Jade wants to desperately get in the box. But what's this thing about the clear? Uh, cause you, um, also, yeah, of course, you said it's... Yeah. She thinks mm. it's OK to poke people. I haven't poked no one. It was my well, you think okay to your children to poke. Okay, I'm gonna let you in one sec, Joe. Um, Miss Remy, get Tony for one sec. Jade, Haley, go put a toner on your hair, love, and shut your mosh. Yeah, let's let's what? get the pearl situation for now, That's though. Wrong. The way you're talking. Right, can I just have two seconds? Because I've got to go. Because my god, go and get my little boy, Claire. I'm going back. Six weeks ago, maybe, when the whole thing came out about on the bus with um, that man, yeah. you turned around and said to me, it's because I am racist because of the colour oh. I am. Ooh, I am you're white. Right. No, 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 no. Don't you, you dare to, Do you want me to get the screen recordings back, Claire? I am racist. Please, please. You, you are not racist. 
because I'm I know I'm racist. racist. The boss situation, you tried to say I was black. Oh. Wow, wow. Pull up the receipts now. God, well, where's well, Lindsay? Well. Lindsay told you a number of times how racist she oh, was towards me. Angie, her. Angie, oh, ask her to pull up the receipts. Say, can you repeat that, please? Right, um, Angie, remember when Lindsay was in the box as well and the thing come out about Claire on the bus, what yeah. happened with that man, yeah? yeah? Right, Lindsay even clarified it more than once, m mind you, when she said it, she was saying that I'm racist because of my colour. That's why I had an issue with her. I'm white, okay? I've I'm got white. no issue with white, black, purple, green, yellow, whatever colour you want to my be. My children I'm are Pakistani. neutral. Lindsay... Okay, it's was it. in the box at the time, and she said a number of times about Claire turning around saying that to me. Well, Hold on a minute, and I'll tell you something I was racist. I will swear on my and child's you. life, may God strike him down dead when he oh walks my. on my door. Hey, you I, even you know what? And Angie, Angie, she's lying. Let me meet you for a second. So, Jay, are you saying? Confused that Claire said to you that you're racist. Claire said that I'm racist because I spoke about the incident and said I think the incident that happened on the bus was wrong, it wasn't fair on that poor man. Yeah, that's all I said. And obviously, she believed in her own head at the time that I was um, of colour. Lindsay will back me 110% because uh, Lindsay was on the line. If it was a black person, she said you're racist against white people. Yes. You know, Angie, what colour I am. I'm white. No offence to anyone else. Uh, Miss Remed, please don't take that offensive. Well, but Jade, I'm not, not, not racist. Take that oh. offensive. Well, yeah, it's, Jade, I'm not, it's, listen, that's not that deep what she said to you. Well, I'm white. So what I'm trying to say is she she's saying she's not a racist, but clearly she I'm is a racist. racist. I'm, I'm I'm really confused then. I'm confused. <laughs> Andy, <laughs> got, have you got this screen recording? Because I just want to put this dust I, to clear um, the bin. I'm honestly confused. Yeah. <laughs> You're not going to put no dust in the bin because there's no, there's no recording. Right, hang on, on baby. Right, let me jump anymore. down, Angie. I'm going to find it on the FYP because yeah. it was even played on Miss Red's show. <laughs> you know what? You're disgusting against everyone. Andy, say something. Here she goes, I'm disgusting against Andy. everyone. I wish <laughs> fucking oh Lindsay God. was here now because Lindsay would have backed me again. I can't believe this. Look, I've just literally told you the story on what happened on the bus. You can unmute yourself, us, but I didn't realise you're still... On the bus, I told you the story. What is me? Well, you've got a, you've got, um, what is me? Jade's telling the truth. There's someone here. Jade's telling the truth. Here they all are in the comments. Here they all are in the comments. Claire, I suggest you stop your life. Guys are confused. Jay, Angie, you Angie. You need to quiet down, darling, and stop calling people racist. Angie, you do you said have any going on? to me. No, I'm not. You've got to stop. I'm Jay, actually not. I'm recording. A white Angie, girl upon a white girl calling you racist. I'll be back in two seconds. It doesn't make sense. It don't make sense. Well, Angie, can I just say that this Claire went into um, Scotty Lum's live and said, I've just called some people orangutans and I, and I won't stop saying it. No, but didn't. There we go. Um, too many receipts. Scotty Scotty what the worst thing is about you, top girl? I know exactly who you are. I know where you're from. Scotty I know who you're married to. I know everything about you. You Listen, need to stop, me some you know. Scotty posted it on his page, love. Can we stop Listen, shouting? let me tell you something. Can you if you want to believe me? everything you see in here me. on a app, you're not right in your me? head. You Scotty Lowe posted me? it on his page, guys. If anyone wants to go watch Lisa. it, uh, you're not right in your head. You're not right. So I have just shared it, but I think he's live himself. So um, well, why don't you share my backside to your to your house? Yeah, share my backside. Can we Can just turn and stop shouting? Oh, Can we stop shouting really, and just yeah. speak normally, please? <laughs> That's a bit Miss Remy, Miss Remy. I'm lost. I don't know how... Uh, Miss Remy, can Remy, everybody mute me and let me speak to Miss Remy? Just me and Miss Remy. I'm going to be honest, Miss Claire. I'm not the dictionary for all black people. You have I'm fingers. Just, you can I use Google. Yeah, please I don't ask me no questions. I would like to explain it. 
I, I am not to explain. I am not the black thesaurus. I am not here to answer your racism questions. Okay. Well, baby girl, no, baby girl. girl. Piece of shit. Can you remember when I stood up? I stood up for Pearl. And she came because... in and it was like it was a Jamaican guy and she came in and she fully mocked the Jamaican accent. Yeah, and that. Angie had to drop her. The Claire well, is a piece well, of shit. Well, well, She's well, probably well, very well, low. Well, yeah. yes, do you know what I mean? Yeah. You're all, you're I all together. You on clip. I can't even remember that. I can. It was so a, you were having a debate. So actually drop her. Man. She's absolutely disgusting, Angie. And that's why I came um, in because Anna, I saw yeah. her saying that she wanted to come in the box and she hasn't got no say at the end of the day. She's, she's can gone over and over. Her. Baby, hey, can I just ask Connor? Connor, you know that thing that you just tagged me in? Did um, Claire say it to you? Because I'll tell you exactly what it means right now. I'll tell you what, go and you yourself, out. yeah? Go and she yourself. had to kick her out the box, though, because she was fully taking a piss out of the Jamaican man's accent. Claire's a full on trash. Claire's a no, trash. Claire, girl, you are a trash. Hold on a minute, but you can come on and go use oh, the right, Pakistani so, language. Right, so, oh, come, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come come on, on. Come it's it's not the Pakistani. Pakistani. It's like you should have a say, though, as well. Talk about Pakistanis all the time on your lives. What are you talking about? Taking the piss. What are you talking about? No. And, uh, and you, you take the piss out of Pakistani lingo. I you do it all the time. I'm never, I don't even rise in boxes, you know, Claire. You know what you do? You know what you all do? Come on, Cody, 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 Cody. No, you do it all the time. Here. You're I'm... doing it right now, you weirdo. Keep because talking. I'm saying what you said. This is I what you said. Done. Fuck all. Don't oh, so yes, you did. Right. Right. You've been Andy, talking Andy, about. Can you Andy. not do that again, Claire? Please. Can, <laughs> I, can I just say something? Right. So Connor just tagged me in something that Claire said, and you know what it means in Pakistani. What she's called. Um, Connor, you know the one who comes in your box all the time? She's mm. called him a dirty gay man. Why is he told? Did she get dropped? I don't know what she's what done. Right now, she's not here. She's I'm going to go anywhere. as well to people. So she's not just a racist, she's a bigot and she's a homophobe, guys. Baby, she's a troll. She's just a top tier troll. That's it. Her face probably looks like that pug dog in her picture. She's unhappy and lonely. She's a troll. This is all for her own mm. entertainment. She right, doesn't go. understand that I'm half Pakistani and I will tell her what she's actually said. What a weirdo. I know you didn't cringe. I'm not saying anyone did. Mm. Just too much shouting, man. Like, let's oh, just have geez. conversations. Why is everyone screaming all the time? She oh, makes much skin itch. like this all the time. All the time. I need to get my sage out, man. What is going on? <laughs> oh, we need that for Friday, oh, Remy. We do. Oh, no, is it Thursday or Friday? Friday. Friday, yeah. <laughs> Everyone can have a nice voice now. What's happening oh, Friday? Quiz oh. night, 7 pm on my profile, Angie. You should come. It's fun. I do like a good quiz. It's, it's a lot good. of fun. I'll make sure somebody shares it to you, Angie. Yeah, yeah, share it to me then. Yeah. <laughs> I'm five points ahead. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, today has been mad. And if you tell me to come in your books early in the morning, this is what's going to happen. This is what happened last time. <laughs> <laughs> just the madness, man. Well, like the energy. We've got 1.7k, guys. FYP. Just one day only, 10 a.m. Don't me so you can see me go live and hear me at my big voice again. You know how much you love me, chat. <laughs> Just saw all the beautiful comments, you know. Baby, yeah, now that you're on your own, like, well, not your own, but can you explain yeah. what actually happened? Because, like, I still don't know what happened with Claire. She basically, she come for Paige and Tori, and um, she said a lot more, obviously, previous, which came up, came up in the chat. Um, yeah, she just, she comes for black women, black, black men. She hates all different races. I think she even hates herself, to be honest. Um, and like you say, I think she's just one big fucking troll and she just needs to be taken off the app and shut down. It's just so much screaming and anger. It's like, just make your point without having to scream. And that's the I do love doing the most, Danny. So keep telling me it's okay. Baby, <laughs> what she said, she goes to Scotty that I reverted to Pakistani. And I was just like, right, that's my conversation with you is finished. You cannot revert to Pakistani. <laughs> I'm just sorry. <laughs> oh, this app is wild. It really, really is. It is. Um, stop swearing at her, guys, in the comments. I, I understand what you're saying. Ooh, what can you, can you it? tell me what these are in DMs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what were we talking about before? 
<sighs> before before the the shouting started. Oh my god! It's re- it, honestly so, guys. I'm going to revert to. Um, I don't even know. I'm happy with what I have. <laughs> I can't help. Well, anyway, Angie, Angie wanted us to not talk about Pearl anymore, so that happened. Oh, uh, yeah, what that's else? what we're on about, weren't we? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Whitewell. Well. I mean, what listen, some people will never be friends for it, you know, like that, but I just yeah, thought, I just yeah. move on and, yeah, you know, I'm not saying for you, Remy, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it isn't. Um, and I just no, thought, you know. If she can badmouth someone like that, Angie, think what she can do to you. Mm. Well, she's done the worst to Angie, though, but... That's the saying, like, you've got to think what you've already been through. It's not... We can't, we can't forgive or forget for somebody else's pain. So if Angie can forgive, that's that's got to do with her. Angie, do you know what I mean? So, and if that gives I mean, Angie... Some, people yeah. say in the comments that it's a baby A. Is that your name? Yes. Oh. I'll just call you baby. Um, <laughs> it's fighting me. I mean, I'm not that. I'm not that bothered. It's no, I came in when you went overboard. Well, that doesn't night. matter. I, I don't care. It's an app. You know, some people I care about. Some people I don't. I don't really know you that well. You know, either. It's just an app. Oh my god! I don't know what's happened to me overnight. <laughs> I don't know what has happened, Angie. Did you I get laid? Know, Did you get laid last night? What's going on? No, I think I was visited by three ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> if, you get, if you get laid, you get a Chinese as well afterwards. <laughs> oh, how disappointing! <laughs> Flowers. We had it two times a week. <laughs> what? Angie, what? What? Did I something. I hit my head, man. <laughs> Angie, Listen, did today, you... tomorrow might be a different story. Angie, Angie did you thing? hear um, this morning, Miss Red came into my live. Oh, did she? Yeah. She came into my live and she gave me two roses. And then I said to her, like, I think you could do a bit better than that. You can afford a bit more than that. And then she threw one more rose at me. So I got three roses from Miss Red this morning. Oh. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, here's a, to- here's a-, so a and- question, though. What do you think? And, and she also said, because we were talking about the two pump thing and the Chinese thing at the time when she was in the room, and she also said that because of all the, the action, she actually got a third pump last night as well. So there we go. Oh, God. Right, what do you think I'm her order is, though? In, Remy. Andy, what do you think her order is, the Chinese? Andy, can you make me supermodel this account, please? I think, no, she, I think she's right. definitely... Right. Think, she's oh, definitely a chicken oh, ball. Chicken ball, what, <laughs> sweet and sour? She's definitely sour a chicken ball. Mm. Andy. Boiled rice. <laughs> boiled yeah. straight boiled rice. Boiled rice, plain. <laughs> plain chow mein. No, no. We're going to be fighting Andy in a minute if you don't make me super mad. Hi, Andy. I'm going to come back tomorrow, aren't I? So I'll be on to do a private account. <laughs> 